Okay, so today, me, Flojo, I'm going to be looking at um, the UI flows. So if you haven't ever actually seen UI flows before, if you click my flows and then select UI flows, this is how you can create a UI flow. So what I've got here is a World Health Organization UI data scraper. What's happening is it's loading up the live updates page of the World Health Organization because we all know about the coronavirus at the moment and it's grabbing the latest headline. What I'm then doing is I'm actually creating a flow that's just an instant flow with a button push. So if I go in and edit that, you can see that I've got my manual trigger here and then what I'm doing is I'm turning on a VM in Azure. And what I'm going to then do is run my UI against that VM in Azure and then turn the VM off. So a VM is a virtual machine if you haven't heard of that. It's just a machine in the cloud that's going to be actually running my UI flow. I'm on a Mac so I would be limited. I wouldn't actually be able to run the, my UI flow locally. However, you can get around this by running it in a, a virtual machine. So as you can see here, I've got a UI Flow Runner virtual machine. I'm on a free trial at the moment, and I'm actually just running the one CPU and two gigabytes of memory, so it's really cost effective. I think it's something like $15 um, a month or something crazy like that if I kept it on full time. But if I wanted to actually scale this up, what I could do is I could just create multiple different tests and then multiple different machines and run them all at the same time scaling horizontally so what does this enable well it actually enables us to do automation testing because as with any data scraping type of software such as selenium you also have the automation testing part of that so let's give this a go so as you can see here i've got my status as stopped so then if i go and test my flow I'll say I perform the trigger and I'll run the flow and I'll click done so I can see the flow running so what's actually going on now is this is turning on my VM that has my gateway linked to my power automate session so that I can actually talk to the machine and pass the information backwards and forward from the um, on-site machine as well as the uh, flow in the cloud obviously they're both in the cloud technically so then you can see there it is it's starting we're wait basically waiting for us to get a return result to say everything's good to go and then once that's good to go we'll then run our UI flow once the UI flow is finished we will then turn off the UI flow runner so I'm just gonna wait there and speed it up and I'll come back once it's actually finished Okay, so our flow ran successfully. We have triggered a flow. We have turned on a VM on Azure with our gateway connected to Power Automate. We have then run a little simple test, just grabbing some information. And then we have turned off the VM. So let's go back into here, just refresh that. And you can see that it's now stopped. The status of it stopped and we're not having to pay for a constant machine on which allows us to obviously expand horizontally and we can then run multiple different for example tests or data scraping simultaneously we can basically parallelize our um, our flows our UI flows which is an amazing opportunity so that's it what I'm going to actually do because there's a lot of information to go through here there's a lot of like setting up the VM there's a lot of uh, creating an automation account on Azure there's actually the UI flows, creating the gateway. I'm actually going to be breaking these down into small bite-sized chunks in the near future. So uh, look out for that on my blog and it should be arriving early next week.